Christmas is my favorite time of year. This is the time when my parents create a wonderland of 3D printed decorations that stretches my imagination. From scenes, animals, sleighs, and ornaments. There are endless possibilities to create everlasting memories. From our family to yours, we hope you have a wonderful holiday season and remember, keep printing. Hi everyone, welcome back. We are Crafted Catastrophes and today we're going to walk you through a few of the Christmas decorations that we've printed for our personal use. We did have a problem with some of them so we're going to kind of explain that and maybe give a few suggestions on how that can be alleviated when you print them if you decide to. So let's go ahead and get started. So a few of these items you may already recognize from one of our previous videos where we showed you some of our favorite things that we've printed so far, such as the stars, of course our little articulated ornament, and then the spiral ornament and the Christmas tree. And now we have some wonderful new things. Oh, because we love these things so much. I told you we are quite obsessed. We printed this new articulated uh, present box and oh my gosh he is he's adorable so cute i love him the hands are really what does it for me y'all more so than yeah the, the, feet. the i love the dangly feet that that's the cutest to me and i think we already showed this one in another video too but i mean look at that <laughs> how who could not like that come on i just find that completely fascinating. One of the things that we printed was this really cute Merry Christmas sign. Just super simple, but completely adorable. And this is probably one of my favorite things. I just love how the snowflakes turned out. Everything just came out real crisp. And that lettering is raised. It just gives it more of a three dimension. Pops off yeah. the background, which is really nice. And it sits perfectly. That You don't have to have any other stand or anything with it. It's thick enough that it will just sit right there and on that its own. One up there if you can. And then this one was actually made. Sean actually went and found a font online. And then as shown in our previous video which you should watch make sure um, you watch and we will show you how to make clip art into a printed 3d model which is this little christmas tree right up here that's what him and clay worked on in the last video that's right and we got one more sign up there i don't want to knock everything over if you can reach She's it already been i've been i've done over. it several times already so i'll hold this <laughs> and then i'll knock it all over and it'll be great <laughs> this is one that we absolutely love. It's just so darn cute. This little Santa over here and this little reindeer guy over here. <laughs> and it's not anything spectacular, but if you're like us and you love the Christmas, then all of these fun little prints are, they're just nice little things to put up, knickknacks, put on your shelves. Especially if you don't have a lot of space. Yes. These are nice just for smaller apartments or even for your office. If you want something Christmassy on your desk and you don't have a lot of room, th these are great for things like that. Absolutely. We made these door corners and we just have this box to kind of show you, but this would go like on your door. On your, yeah, on your door jam around your door. And again, these are great decorations if you don't have a ton of space. I love to put things on the walls, but that's not always feasible either. You may be in a place where you can't put holes in the walls. Things like this that can just go straight over your door corner, perfect. Or if you're hosting and you just want a little table decoration, yep. then you can get them there and they're gonna stay nice and tight there on the corner. Another thing that we found to print was to go around a little light socket. And it's the same concept as these, but it's just much, much smaller and it's a cute little cardinal with some holly. And it just fits right over your light switch corner. So we printed this little present box. That's a nice sound. This is one of the ones like we talked about before where when you go in, you'll see if you slide to the left, 
you'll see that there are multiple prints. You can print them on two plates, or you can select the, ooh, the sequential print, which it'll print one color on the plate, and then it will print the other color. So this will print together, obviously, and then those will print. And then, as you've seen, whoop, once I throw that. Dropping everything. We haven't, we're having a case of it today, kids. All right. Then. And these, if you want to enlarge it a little bit, you can do that. And they would be good for gift cards or Absolutely. something like that. Jewelry, anything really little. And minis, anything that obviously would fit in this box or however you want to size it. It's something different than a gift bag or, you know, a box that you buy in the yeah. store. Okay, so one of the things we had an issue with mm -hmm. is, and see there, I dropped him already. There we have an issue already. This super, super cute. I mean, if you've got vintage style decorations like this little house up here, but with the sleigh, there's two little notches here that these ends slide into, but they're not very stable. Um, there is a second print that you can do without the notches. So I think that would probably be better or you're just going to need to super glue those in, which we didn't want to do for, for the video so we could show you, but you could just super glue those in so it'll be more stable and you can set it on your mantle or just a table or something. This is a cute little ornament. We actually printed this yesterday. It's, what was it, a nine hour print? So we printed it overnight, overnight of course. Yeah. But we had a, a few little spaghetti issues on the inside. I did put supports on this, but the supports helped with this ring here, front and back. But the texture that is on this, I mean, it, it makes it feel and look like, you know, it would be an igloo or something that you made outside out of snow. And then, I mean, everything is just such a, it's near perfect, except for those few little spaghettis on the inside. So maybe we could add some supports from, you know, cause if you do supports on the, the print bed only, it's gonna stay on the outside, but you might wanna try to add some to the inside to keep the spaghettis from your little topper there. Great for a Christmas tree or even just sitting again on a shelf or on your desk or something like this. We printed this decoration. So you can print these th like this, this print separately, all prints on the same plate. We are right now using an earring yeah. <laughs> hanger. <laughs> so it's a little bit too long. You, you definitely want a shorter hook on there if you're gonna hang something. Hey, I got an idea. 3D print your hooks. Hey, they have those too. They have those also. <laughs> so you can 3D print your own little hook. But this is just something super cute again. Just a cute little decoration to have out. You have an apartment somewhere small. Or even if you're a teenager. My youngest daughter, she always wanted to decorate her room for Christmas when we pulled out, out our tree and stuff. But you know, we just never had anything that was feasible to put in there. But stuff like this, these little bitty trees, those are great for a kid's room or something. Put them on their dresser or even take them to school and let them put them in their locker or something. So we have a Christmas tree with a heart. It's got a love and you can glue it if you want, but if you want to just... Doinky, doinky, doinky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, my we're simple came people. Out. <laughs> we're simple people. We're real simple people. But yeah, it's just, again, another cute little decoration. I can actually tell you that I want every single one of these in my house. If I had enough room, if I had enough shelf space, these would definitely be. We'll put that on Clay's to-do list. <laughs> Mandy needs a new bookshelf. That's, that's what that man needs, <laughs> to build me another set of shelves. This is another really good print if you look at the legs in the back, but we wanted to try this and see because it, it didn't have support set in the print file as an automatic, which, you know, you can go in and turn those on through the software, but we've had some kind of, uh, as it curved forward, 
this is really rough. I mean, mm -hmm. I think we can probably iron that out with a little heating tool or sand it down. But I think if you printed this with supports, then this would be a fantastic print. We've got a little bit of sp spaghetti and happening on his belly here. But again, if we'd had supports for that area, it, it would have been a near perfect print. And he, he's just adorable. And this guy, he turned out fantastic. Yep. No boo-boos at all. Um, but just the, the texture, the feel of the print, it's nice. The coloring is great. There's no You know, normally no with bumps. the 3Ds, sometimes you can see the lines as the, the item builds. I mean, this is just super smooth. There are very, very little striations that you can see except right there on the top of his back. Gorgeous print. Another thing that we printed are these cute little Rudolph earrings. You can tell here that the hoop loop is quite big for such a little guy. So Sean went in in CAD and he actually has made the hole smaller. So we will reprint those with a smaller uh, hoop loop and it should be perfect. And we'll show you that once we get those redone just so you can see. But that's just another fun thing that you can do. Now we know we can fix these things if we see something needs to be bigger, something needs to be smaller, we want to change the color, anything like that. So we are learning <laughs> right along with everyone else. And staying on the subject of earrings, these little presents. Oh my gosh, y'all. So I have some weird obsession with miniature things <laughs> anyway. So when she showed me these earrings in a photo, uh, I, I just lost my mind because they are <laughs> really, really cute. And then we're both, of course, wearing our little cake tree earrings we love and then of course the little house there we printed also has a tea light inside so that you can put that on your mantle you could make a bunch of these and have your own little village and they have others that are a little bit taller so you could have different sizes and different variations you could even increase the size of this one a little bit setting up the supports did not do anything with the stars here so they kind of got a little wonky. Wonky. Can I say wonky? Yeah. <laughs> wonky is a great word. That's what they look like. But I'm, I mean, all in all, still, it's super cute and it's going to go really well with my little Christmas village. Absolutely. So we printed this little truck with the Christmas tree in the back. You have probably seen this print on tons of different things. I have a blanket that has it on it. My wreath on my door has this red truck with Christmas tree. <laughs> uh, so when I saw it, I knew that I had to print it because it belongs in my house with my other red truck with Christmas trees in them. And it came out perfect. And it's got a hook on it so you could hang this as an ornament on your tree or wherever. Make it bigger. Make it bigger. If you wanted to set it Absolutely. on a shelf or something. Yep. That, that's a good thing about most of these files. You can make them smaller. If, it, if it's too big, like this one here, this Christmas tree, there's actually multiple options in the print file of a small, medium, and a large. And I just wanted to print the large to see what it looked like. But I think it's a little too big because the tea lights don't really shine through. So if maybe it was smaller or we had a more powerful tea light, that one would yeah, be Yeah, I think maybe if you did it would be nice also since there are three sizes you could actually print all three out and have them sit out and then you just need a bigger tea light even an led you could use one of those little strips and you could sit it inside there like that not a real flame but not a real flame you're gonna melt your stuff plastic <laughs> does not like does not like heat all right well, we well. have had so much fun for real printing all of this christmas stuff and I hope that you have had fun watching this video. If you have, please like and subscribe and click the bell for notifications. And stick with us because we do have a lot more content planned. We're learning to make our own files. As we mentioned in our previous video, the guys have already done. I've been working on some earring models. I actually got a request from a family member for a custom order 
for a pair of earrings, so I'm working on that too. But just, again, stick with us, come back, keep watching our videos, and thanks for supporting us and helping our channel grow. With that, thanks, thanks. for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Appreciate you. Bye.